Hello again. I just thought I'd do a, a quick review for you of something that came through the post this morning. It's the Mr. Hobby Mr. Glue Applicator. Um, I've been told that this is very handy for um, applying CA glues. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a whirl because I've got a, um, a, a Tamiya Fletcher class boat to do soon with uh, photo etch railings and things like that. So I'm going to need a very fine uh, applicator for the CA glue. So I thought I'd give this a whirl on the recommends from plenty of people on Flory models. Um, so we're just going to open up the packet. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. There you go. All right. Um, obviously, it's all in uh, all in Japanese, so it's really easy to understand. Uh, inside, um, you've got a little uh, plastic case that you can keep your applicators in, with some uh, toggles on there. Uh, if you're like me and you end up having tools all over the place but you like to keep them uh, in their right place uh, once you've finished then this is quite a little thing you can just pop on the shelf um, anyway with the tools in here you've got the uh, precision CA applicator okay as you can see there it's uh, got a, a very fine point and it's very soft and flexible which is uh, quite handy I thought rather than a sharp point um, so you can get right in and and be very precise, which is going to be great for that photo etch that I'm going to be doing. Uh, the second tool is uh, like a, a spreader um, that you'd get uh, for, um, well, basically filling in walls and things like that, I think. Basically, you could put a pop a bit of CA in a, in a, in a hole on the, on the kit, something like this, and then spread over like that. Uh, that's what I would imagine that would be for and hopefully get a flat surface. Um, what that will do is it will allow you to um, uh, lessen the amount of CA glue that you have to sand down and which obviously we all love sanding CA glue, it's so easy. Um, the third tool, uh, not quite sure what this is, um, maybe someone can say, it's like a, like a little blade of some sort it's very soft, um, so it's, it's obviously not for sharpening, uh, cutting anything or anything like that. I would imagine it's some sort of spreading implement, um, which uh, I'm sure we can find a use for. Um, find a use for most of the tools here. So I have to work that what that one is out. What is handy is there is a little CA glue holder. Now, currently I use these, which I got off of eBay, which are just little metal. Uh, discs, I think they were 99p for 10, and they're excellent for mixing paints on. Um, and because uh, they're so cheap, once you finish with them, because it's very hard to get the paint off, you can just ditch them. Uh, but 99p off of eBay, they're excellent. But anyway, uh, this being uh, plastic and everything, um, we'll pop a little bit of glue in here so you can see. A little bit of CA. Well, something I always do always wipe the top of the CA bottle before you put it back and that way you don't get any excess the lids don't end up sticking on there um, but uh, let's have a look at this see if this works very well so, yeah, just get a bit on there I don't know if you can see that at all it's very very fine and the flexibility in the tip is good because it allows you to drag the CA if you wanted to just Drag it across, see? That's quite handy when you want to, you've got a little bit on there and you want to drag it across um, and get a little bit more use out of it. Uh, so overall, uh, the price, I can't remember the price off the top of my head. I will put it on the, the final video for you. Um, but uh, overall, hopefully, I mean, at the moment to apply CA, I use uh, something like this, paper clip. Um, which is not particularly great, um, but I'm looking forward to this. A few people on, my, on the forums have recommended it, so I'm going to give it a whirl. Um, and uh, so that's it. So that's the uh, Mr. Hobby Mr. Glue applicator. Okay. Um, right. Uh, if you get one, let me know how you get on with it. All right. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.